Heads up, while most of my content is family friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such the videos in this Let's Play are likely to contain mild blood and or violence possibly at the same time. So viewer discretion is advised. Oh man, I'm so freaking pumped for this episode of Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations. Welcome Worst. to the most anticipated event of the year, apparently. Oh, I've been looking forward to this since we started doing the first game. Really? Yeah. Not long. Okay. <laughs> this is a fake. I really don't want to overhype sure, it. Sure, sure. I really don't. No, but... I, but this case is just very but well But I done. respect your opinion, so I'm, I'm curious to see how okay. this will go. We're on episode five, Bridge to the Turnabout. Strap in, it's going to be a long episode, and it's going to be an yep. awesome one. All right, let's Three, go. Three, two, one, go. Curious what's going to happen. Oh, lightning. The angel. With the oh, it's that- Shichishito. The treasured Karain village heirloom, whose name means seven-branched sword. Oh yeah, it's that thing, okay. It's so beautiful. It's said that this sacred sword represents life itself. Okay. Though the branches may appear to be infinite, <coughs> the choice is limitless. It's not. I have missed this music. Like our destinies, the sword comes to but one end, one merciless point. And when the silver cord, the fragile thread that binds us to this world is severed, this is like the opening to an anime. <laughs> this is funny. It won't be for long. Oh! Okay. Someone's dead. It's a girl. The illusion is revealed, and the impl implicability of fate is finally laid bare. Why couldn't I say that word? It's not that it's hard fine. to... Okay, I just want to point out that playing on an emulator didn't cover everything in that. Like... While it's going down the sword, there's supposed to be, like, flashes on the screen of, like, past, like, case pictures. Oh. Like, I think you get one of Mia's death, you get one of, like, Phoenix and Dahlia meeting. Ah. Uh, you get, okay. you get, the, I think, the one of uh, Pearl and Maya with the urn at the end of the second case. Okay. okay. Oh, man. That's, that's annoying. That's, that is annoying. February 6th, 9.48 a.m., Wright and Company Law Offices. Hey, Nick. Yeah? What is it? You know how I've got spiritual powers, unlike you? Um, sure. You are a spirit medium, after all. But just like you, if I don't keep my powers sharp, they get dull, right? Um, I guess so, yeah. Glad you agree. Okay, Pearly, you're up. Or you're up. Pearls? So, that's why we need to go on a special spiritual hot sp spot tour, Mr. Nick. Huh? I'm lost. What's this magazine you're shoving in my face? It's the New Year's issue of Oh Cult! Winter Spiritual Location Special! Oh. Pearls look so happy. Maximize your spiritual powers with just one night of intensive training! Oh, it sounds too good to be true! I'll say. It sounds more like a scam to me. It's at a spiritual retreat called the Hazukura... Hazakura Temple. Yep, Hazakura Temple. It's way up in the mountains, and I bet it's nice and cold! Just perfect for training! Now I definitely don't want to go. You know, I think I've heard of this temple before. It's a famous channeling dojo. It's hard for even real spirit mediums like us to make reservations up there. Yeah, that is- this absolutely sounds like a scam. <laughs> reservations? For a temple? Are you serious? Don't worry! I've already made special reservations just for us! Yeah! And I signed up for the spirit- uh, for the special course! Th that's nice, and the timing couldn't be better. Since we don't have a case right now, anyway. Alrighty then, it's settled! Well, come on! Don't just stand there! Start packing your stuff! Yes, Mr. Nick! You better start packing your stuff! Huh? But me?! Why do I have to go?! Well, we have to be accompanied by someone over 20 years old. Hey! I don't have anything to do with spirit power! The only thing I can channel is a TV! <laughs> 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 oh, Phoenix. So, um, is there a heated pool at this Hazakura temple? No, but you can stand under a freezing waterfall! Sorry, but I think I'll pass. I hate cold places. Amen, Phoenix! Amen, Phoenix! What?! No way! How can you be so selfish?! Come on, Mr. Nick! Look at this place! Doesn't it look beautiful? 
Nope, not going. I'm gonna be nice and toasty at home. What the? What is it, Mr. Nick? Let me see that magazine. It's gonna be like Dahlia has the. Mm-hmm. This nun. Ugh. Yeah, you guys are not going there, please. Is she a friend of yours or something, Nick? This girl. It's. My name is Dahlia Hawthorne. I just want to say, it's an honor for me to be here in your noble presence. How'd she get out of jail? Honestly, how can any woman ever count on you for anything? You disgust me! But it can't be! She was found guilty and should still be in prison. Maybe it's like a reform- uh, Like, okay, it's either- uh, camp, camp, camp Green, Green Lake, Lake or, or jail. jail, and then you, she's like, she killed somebody. I agree, <laughs> but yeah, maybe they had something like that. Mr. Nick, I'll go. What? Huh? Hazakura Temple. I said I'll go. Yay! Isn't that great, Pearly? Yes. Oh, thank you, thank you, Mr. Nick. Why are we going? We're going to die. <laughs> We're gonna like, okay. I have a lot of problems with this. Number one, uh, past murderer, past flame of Phoenix Wright, he's like, I'll go to this temple. Sure, this will be fun. And, like, I understand don't let them go if there's that person there. I'm just like, why would you want to get involved again? Maybe because he just wants the truth for himself. I don't know. No, I don't want any more of, I want the truth. Last time somebody wanted the truth, they died. So, yeah. You'd do anything for Mystic Maya, right? Even walk over burning coals, right? Oh, Colt! New Year's issue received from Pearl. Oh, Colt! My favorite magazine. Dahlia Hawthorne. I knew there was no way she could possibly be Is at that Is that temple. a woman next to her? Yes! She looks like a potato. <laughs> That's rude! <laughs> no, it's, it's... Maybe when we see her up close, all you can see is her face and it just looks like, um... She's got way too much makeup on. Yeah. Um, she reminds me of a female version of Flurry from Paper Mario 2. <laughs> so... I knew there was no way she could possibly be at that temple. But I just had to see for myself. There was an absolute way she could be at that temple. Who this nun really was. There was absolutely the case that that could be the case. The case that that could be the case. Whoa, we're in a new place. This is cool. February 7th, 3.24pm, has a current temple main gate. Oh, this music's gorgeous. Brr, it's so cold here, Nick! Maybe you shouldn't have worn a short skirt and flip-flops, Maya. <laughs> Maybe you should put on something warmer for a change? Well, it's supposed to be cold. It's training. Ah, achoo! Her teeth are chattering so loudly, it's all I can do to make out what she's saying. Wow, Mystic Maya, so this is the famous Hazakura Temple. The Pearls doesn't have the problem with the cold, clearly. Yep. Pearly, I. Hachoo! This is you as well. Uh, well, well, well. Oh! -ho! Here we are! She, like, wait, how old is she supposed to be? I think she's in her 50s. Okay. Now I know who she reminds me of. Did you see when Marnie was there? Yeah! Do you I remember the her. Do you remember the girl who, um. Yes. So she's like, you pig! Or whatever. <laughs> she, she has the same face as that. Kind of. Well, if she's 50. Well, well, well. How nice to see you here. Welcome to our temple. That oh, is a perfect voice. <laughs> thank you. Uh, achoo! Oh my, my, my. Thank you for coming all this way. Come now, come now. You must have been cold. What's with the past tense? We're freezing into human popsicles as we speak. <laughs> well, we are high up in the mountains after all. In any case, we shouldn't speak here. Please follow me inside. Th thank you. I was starting to think I would pa Oh, yes, yes, I almost forgot to introduce myself. I'm the head nun here at the temple. My name is Bikini? <laughs> Alright, cool. B -b -b Bikini? That's right! Actually, that's my temple name. What do you think? It's a tradition to have one, and I wanted something that had a nice image to it. Uh. So I thought, why not choose a bikini? Besides, it makes me seem younger. <laughs> certainly does. Oh, I signed up for your special course. Well, my, 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 quite brave of you considering how cold it is. 
Young people can be so reckless with their health. Don't blame me if you become one with you th with the, those you channel. <laughs> reckless? <laughs> Maybe you should take it easy tonight, Mystic Maya. We can come back another day. But you went through all that trouble to get reservations for- Yes, 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 that's right. You've come all this way, so please, please enjoy yourselves. There's even time before supper, so why don't you have a look around? That's true. <laughs> Hang on, I have to see. Okay, so <gasps> we're we, out. Yeah, we have, we have the attorney's badge, badge, we got the Magatama, we got the old cult New Year's issue. <laughs> well, it's definitely her. Today she's not wearing a lot of makeup. Maya's 19, Mia's deceased, deceased. Godot. Godot is shrouded in mystery. <laughs> uh, Pearl's, Pearl's nine. Pearl's nine now, wow. She was nine at the start of this game, I thought she was eight. Too. She was in the second game. Okay. And then Bikini, oh, 48, okay. Hardy, motherly nun at Hazakura Temple, a channeling dojo deep in the mountains. Okay, cool. Let's, let's look around a bit. Let's try and read the kanji. What do you think, Nick? Pretty awesome gate, huh? It sure is. It looks pretty well maintained, too. This thing kind of puts your hometown to shame, Maya. Yeah, well, a lot of things have happened in Korean Village. We used to be a lot richer back when people hired us to perform channelings. Oh, I see. But now the place looks a bit run down. Hmm, I guess I was just born in the wrong time. Oh, look! It's one of those snow motorcycle things! Most people call that a snowmobile, you know. Snow motorcycle- Snow motorcycle thing! Snowmobile! Snow a snowmobile! <laughs> Same thing! Hmm, too bad we didn't invite Desiree. I bet she could race like the wind on this slow mobile. Or maybe she'd give me a ride on this blow snowmobile. Ah! I told you it's snowmobile! <laughs> no clues here. I I'm, I was looking at the door. I said I was looking at the door. <laughs> oh, maybe this is just the gate again. What yeah, do you think? Yeah, it's still the gate. Darn it. That's fine. I like the new, the 3DS ones where you can see what you've examined. Where the cursor will change color if it's something you haven't oh. examined before. This is all just the gate. There's okay. Like, there's like nothing to examine here. What the oh, heck? Oh, we can talk. The channeling dojo. Um, so what's a channeling dojo anyway? Oh my, my, my. You don't even know that? Forgive him, sister, for he knows not what he says. Well, well, well. Just call me Bikini and forget that sister part. A channeling dojo is basically a spiritual power training ground. We have special holy items prepared here to help people boost their spiritual power. Uh, holy items? If you train an entire evening surrounded by these items, ah, it's quite mysterious. I'm picturing like Phoenix Downs <laughs> and holy water. Oh, from Fire Emblem. <laughs> no, from Final Fantasy. Tactics. Phoenix Downs are also in Fire Emblem. No, they're not. I'm Ooh. thinking of Phoenix Feathers. That? Okay, well, Final Fantasy had them first, so... Yeah, okay. The spiritual power of these items seem to envelop you. <laughs> wow, she must have just gotten off the trolley from the land of make-believe. <laughs> <laughs> nice Mr. Wow. Rogers reference. Wow. <laughs> um, so what exactly is the special course? You must be incredibly devoted to be interested in that at such a young age. It's a training session where you sit on a block of spiritual ice and chant a spell. 3,000 times, all 30, well being- 30,000. Oh, yeah, 30,000. 30,000 times, all well being showered in freezing cold spiritual water. Huh? It's February now, right? You have to be careful this time of year. If you don't watch it, you can catch pneumonia or maybe even die of hypothermia. So be careful, you hear. <laughs> How am I supposed to be careful? <laughs> oh, no. I knew I shouldn't have signed Mystic Maya up for this. Well, that's interesting. We can always bail out. Um, sister, about this picture... Well, well, look at that! I must say I look rather divine here, don't you think? Oh, um, yeah, unforgettable in every way. You mean it? Oh, I knew it! <laughs> the makeup was pretty tough, but Iris helped me out. Of course she changed her name for a third time. Iris? The cute little girl in the photo, she looks just like me, doesn't she? No, she doesn't. No, I'm sorry. No. <laughs> We're just a small temple here, so she and I run the entire place. Really? That kind of sounds like fun- Sorry to cut in, but this Iris, where is she right now? Oh, just listen to you. You haven't come all the way up here just to find a girlfriend, have you? Mm. 
No, 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 no. That is not what I had in mind at all. Anyway, Iris is in the Inner Temple preparing for this evening. Inner Temple? Yes, yes, that's right. Iris will be back this evening. Why don't you go have a look at the main hall for now? <laughs> so she's in the Inner Temple, huh? Is it like, all I can think of is the tabernacle, where it's like only- No, the on tabernacle's a tent. I know, but I'm thinking more of like the, oh, only the higher priest can enter this part of the room on one day of the year. <laughs> like that. I don't think it's that I don't extreme, think it's like that no. extreme, but hey, that's what I think. Bikini, of. I'm a lawyer. Um, do you think you could take a look at this? I may not look like it, but I can tell you're very much in demand. Tell you I'm very much Oh, I'm very much in demand. And to be quite honest, I find it a little difficult to say. What is she trying to say, Mr. Nick? I think she's trying to say that she's busy. But seriously, Nick, what's the deal? Nothing has even happened to you yet, and you're already shoving evidence in people's faces. You need to forget about the work and relax a little. Try to have some fun, okay, Mr. Nick? But that's my hobby, showing that I'm an attorney to everybody. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Sure, pin the hypothermia on the lawyer is f great fun. Nope, she's just she's like, like, you need inside. to get inside! It's like negative five! Probably. Fahrenheit, not Celsius. <laughs> that would be, like, death. Uh, oh, we can go to the suspension bridge or the main hall? Let's, she wants us to go to the main hall first. Whoa, Fe February's, it's covered in kanji. <laughs> February 7th, Hazakura Temple Main Hall. The, the main hall! I think it's even colder in here! Oh, shoot! Oh, Mr. Nick, do you smell that? It smells like meat and gravy! Yeah, you're right. I guess it's pot roast for tonight. Yum! Oh, pot roast is so good. Good. So good. Pot roast is great. Weird. I thought they would serve something a little a more, well, traditional. What are you talking about, Nick? You think monks and nuns just sit around eating rice gruel all the time? Mystic Maya's right. Oh, I hope there's mashed potatoes, too. I love mashed potatoes. Oh, this is you, too. <laughs> oh, ha ha ha. What a cute little acolyte. I don't know who this is. What? This is... She's like Morgan too, but with a staff. <laughs> I don't... She seems like someone who'd be very serious, but at the same time... Do, do probably like a serene voice. Greetings to all of you. Oh, um, hello? Wow, this lady makes Maya look like a 6.8 out of 10 on the weirdness scale. <laughs> <laughs> Your outfit. Did you come here for the spiritual special course too? Ha, 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 ha. Unfortunately, no. Actually, I'm... Ah! You're... You're... You're Miss Elise Dexedim! Donum. Donum! <laughs> I, I couldn't figure out how to pronounce that either. <laughs> I think I actually had to look it up. It's Donum. What is... The... Oh, I know who she looks like. She looks like the chick who's in uh, Mary and the Witch's Flower. There's this lady who owns the college who's played by this really famous British actress, and I can't remember her name. Um, oh. But she's got glasses. <laughs> was it Daisy Basically, Ridley? <laughs> it's her plus glasses. No, it's not Daisy Ridley, because I would have hated it. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I don't like... Uh, she's fine. I just... <sighs> I, can't, I still can't believe you're... I hate Ray. She's terrible. I don't like Ray, but I just don't like the new trilogy. That's part of it. Whatever. We're not here to talk about anyway, the new trilogy. Anyway, you're Miss Elise Donutnam! Yes, that's right. You know of me. M my name, my name is Pearl Fay. I, I'm your biggest fan. Who is she, Nick? Hmm, I see it now. Zvari, <laughs> a fortune teller? <laughs> I've got all of your books, Miss Dona. <laughs> what a sweet thing to say. And please call me Elise. Um, books? Mr. Nick, don't you know anything? Don't you even know who this is? Well, um, an author, maybe? Yes, and an illustrator of picture books. Oh, that's sweet! Yes, I like her already. Picture books are great. <laughs> picture books, huh? Oh, now I get it. Children's stories that are illustrated and, like, well-written are the best. Oh, Rosemary Wells. Rosemary Wells, uh, oh. the author and the illustrator of Giggle Giggle Quack. So good. Oh, yeah. Doobie picture doobie moon. Honestly, picture books, I think I have more connection to than actual books, sadly. <laughs> um, just I, I because like, I, I like how there's I simplicity them. and just. Yeah. It's, it's and nice. anyone can pick them up and read them and get different things out of them. Yep. Well, she's a illustrator and picture book person. Extraordinary. But yep. she's here, apparently. 
There are straw Zabuton cushions arranged around a hibachi brazier. This oh. is America. <laughs> oh, hibachi. That's good. I haven't seen a layout like this since I saw this really old Japanese movie on TV. <clears throat> if it wasn't for this hibachi, they'd probably freeze to death. Hibachi's good, Look at though. the giant magatama in the middle. There's a laughably large magatama on the altar. If I can see Cyclops with this tiny magatama I've got... I can only imagine what kind of power this bad boy has under I think his it's hood. Fake. <laughs> Probably doesn't have spiritual power like mine does. No way. It's an altar. It looks a bit old, but someone does a good job of taking care of it. Speaking of altars, I remember seeing one like this in Crane Village last year. I guess they really do have something to do with spiritual power after all. I'm wondering how Dahlia managed to change her name again. Well, actually, she would know the process. <laughs> but how would the how would she like break out of jail, change her name? And not have the police find out. That's the question, isn't it? I don't it? know. I bet the writing on these sliding doors are instructions for spirit channeling. Unless if she has, like... <laughs> Unless she has, like, an Emerlin from Fire Emblem Awakening. Which she where... lost her memory. She lost her memory. She lost her memory and she's like, what? I'm totally normal. And then, like, I thought the whole, like, her. Emerin didn't die. I'm like, that was, that was the stupidest, stupidest cop-out ever. ever. <laughs> but they were like, we need another female in this game. Let's make a special DLC paralog where you can except, get- Except it's not DLC, you just get it. Oh, yeah. Once you beat it. The DLC, it's like, do you want to see Krom and Long Quay in a hot tub? No, not there particularly. There you go! <laughs> <laughs> kind of like how we scribbled math formulas on the bathroom walls to remember them. We did. Except we couldn't go to the bathroom during tests, and I can't read these walls. People did that? Apparently Phoenix did when he was a kid. That's smart. I should have done that. Oh, actually, hang on. Oh, we don't know how old she is. Well, Come on! She could be, like, old, but just looks fantastic. Check it out. I'm a lawyer. Miss Donum, what do you think about this? Mr. Nick, do you think Miss Elise is a suspect? A suspect? Huh? <laughs> you may be Mystic Maya's special someone, but I won't let you do this to Miss Elise. A suspect? Why would I suspect her of anything? It's not like anything's happened. <laughs> Isn't it cute, Nick? Pearlie's getting all overprotective of her new friend. Okay, maybe we can't... Yeah. Let's I, just I... talk. That's a good idea. Hey, yeah. Um, I'm sorry I didn't know who you are. I don't get a lot of chances to really enjoy picture books. It's alright. I take no offense to that. My books are nothing but simple stories for children. And really beautiful pictures, too, Miss Elise. Your books always make me feel as if my heart has been purified. <laughs> it makes me feel very happy to hear you say that. I do have to admit, she certainly seems like a kind, sensitive lady. Yeah, maybe maybe Pearl could have like a... Because Pearl has no... Parental she... figure anymore. Yeah, she has nobody except Maya. Maybe she could have like a... I don't know. Good situation. What book was I thinking of? Oh, you haven't read that book though. One of the All a Kind Family books. Oh, there's like this I kid. Gonna... There's this kid who his dad had died a while ago. Then his mother dies, and then like the librarian ends up adopting him because he needs like a person in like oh, wow. life. But she also lost a kid, so it was like the oh, oh. both of us are broken. We'll like Fix make a new your... family together, and it's like I thought you were gonna really say sweet. it reminded you of the Rainbow Magic Fairy books. It reminded me of the Rainbow Magic Fairy books when nothing bad happens and they just fly off into the magical fairyland and defeat <laughs> goblins and no physics make any sense at all. <laughs> Ugh. One time they had a book where they were on a tennis court. And they were trying to fight, and they had strawberries and cream. And that's how I figured out that strawberries and cream are, like, a tennis sport thing at the... Wem what is it? The Wimbledon? I, I don't know. That's apparently Wimbledon? a thing! That's, like, uh, everything about sports that I know is probably from those books. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, Miss Elise won an award last year for her book, The Magic Bottle! Yes, a friend of mine secretly submitted the story I had written to a publisher. They liked it so much that they asked if it was alright to make it into a book. Wow, it must have been a really great story. Maybe I should try to write a children's book too. If I do, you could s you can secretly send it to a publisher for me, Nick. Recently, I've accepted a sort of apprentice, you might say. An apprentice? He calls himself Loris. Loris Donum. <laughs> Laurie Stoneham is probably one of the best characters, like, oh. ever. <laughs> All I can think of is, like, Luke Triton. I believe he's off doing some landscape sketches now. 
uh, on Larissa's behalf as well. I'd like to thank you for your support. Of course, Miss Elise. Anything for you. <laughs> why come here? <laughs> um, why did you come to Hasukura Temple, Miss Elise? Are you here to do some spiritual training? <laughs> no, that's not it. I'm actually here to gather materials for a new book I'm working on. Wow! I can't wait to read it! Pearls is completely <laughs> taken in with her. I mean, if you're gonna write a book, like, go to the place and get some sketches and, like, get mm -hmm. some ideas. Especially if she's history. illustrating it as well. Yeah, yeah. I think it's super cool. Mm -hmm. That's what a lot of, like, artists will do when they're like, I want to paint a picture of... Uh, Japanese cherry blossoms, but it would be... Speaking of which... <laughs> oh, I wanted to do a book with a more Japanese feel to it this time. So I came to America. <laughs> it's not America! <laughs> this is supposed to be in America, actually. It's like in high in the mountains in California. California? Well... I mean, I mean California never... has a high population of Japanese immigrants. Yeah, but... because of uh, that one program that they made in the 40s. Yep. No comment. Yep, but that's why there are, there's a lot there. So, is that why you're dressed like you are? The children have a certain image of me in their minds. I don't want to disappoint them. What can I say? She's really a sweet lady. Yeah. Wow, Miss Elise, you're dressed up like a mountain nun! Yes, the good people here were kind enough to let me borrow this. I'm wearing traditional... Oh, I'm wearing training clothes under my robe as well. I want a staff like that! you like the crystal sphere? It's really, it's a real amethyst, you know. Maybe we'll find one like that up here on this mountain. Good luck, Nick! I knew you'll find me one! Well, you'll have to excuse me now. I have to go help with the dinner preparations. Wow! You mean you're cooking dinner tonight? That's right. Would you like to help too, Pearl? Dane, offer illustrator, professional chef. She's the whole package. Yeah, <laughs> Elise. That's amazing. Yes, yes, I want to help with whatever I can! Pearls looks like she just won the lottery. She did. That'd be like if Julie Andrews walked up to me and was like, can I give you a voice lesson? And I'd be like, ah! <laughs> like, What's your name? I forget! forget. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, I'll help too then. No, it's fine. Please don't worry about it. Okay, hold up. Pearl's going away by herself. I'm worried. I'm worried. Actually, I... Ugh. What if Elise is the one who dies? She's too perfect. Practically perfect. She is in every But way. she's not mean like Mary Poppins, so... Mary Poppins isn't that mean. In the Broadway one, she is. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm talking about the Disney movie. Ugh, I'm worried. Feel free to relax and explore the area with your friend. Huh? But... Oh, yes. Please take this. I think it will be of help to you. Hazakura Temple, the Inner Temple. Oh, look! We could go to the Inner Temple! <laughs> it's a map of the area. We wouldn't want you to get lost now, would we? The Inner Temple. There it is, on the other side of the bridge. Come on, I don't want the coolest character to die! You <sighs> don't know that! Jeez. I think it could happen. You're like, I hope it's Bikini who dies. <laughs> no, I hope it's Dahlia who dies. Oh, yeah, that too. <laughs> Well, if you insist, I guess we'll go to take this chance and check out the Alver Temple. Phoenix wants to go there. <laughs> uh, we could go to the suspension bridge. Okay, I'll see you two later. Remember, you're not allowed to fight. Come on, Nick. Let's go. At least we'll stay warm if we keep moving. That is true. All right, well, I want to go to the... Oh, what's happening? February 7th, Hazakura Temple, main gate. Huh? Where did Sister Bikini go? I guess she went to the Inner Temple. To go help that other nun out. Oh, right. I think her name is Iris? Y yeah that was it. I want to find out who Iris really is, but I'm scared of what I'll find. Yeah, I'm scared too. Why'd you come here? Okay, let's go to the suspension bridge. It's Dusky Bridge! <laughs> yeah, I kind of wondered. <laughs> Because remember how Terry was like, had to there's go to the a, temple. There's a temple. Like the channeling dojo. Yep, that's the one he went to. Well, this is Continuity. Creepy. February 7th, suspension bridge. Did they repair it? Wow, look at this broken down old bridge, Nick. Uh, yeah, they did. You can see all the way to the end. Okay. Yeah, and look at that big canyon below us. Hey, 
There's a river down there! It looks like it's flowing really fast! What's wrong, Nick? You look like you've seen a ghost! Uh, I'm just not very good with heights. Oh. Hey, I've got it! Maybe you should face your fear and try hurling yourself over the edge. No! You know, one, two, three, jump! It might just be what you need to get over your fear of heights. Yeah, death is a real good way to overcome phobias, all right. Anyway, it sure looks like a rickety bridge. Can't argue there. That's probably why it's called Dusty Bridge. Read it again, Maya. It says Dusky Bridge. I called it Dusty Bridge, too. <laughs> well, it's practically the same thing. Anyway, the Inner Temple is just up ahead, right? So let's go check it out. Ugh, why isn't there another way across? Yeah, they really should fix that bridge. They should make, like, more than just that. Like, how about a highway in the sky? Yeah. I can't believe there's a public phone here. Who would ever use it? There's a public phone here? The people who live here, I guess. I doubt they have any real phones there. Why didn't somebody use the phone last time? Maybe it's new. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, but it took, like, 20 minutes to walk here from Main Hall. 20 minutes in the snow? Yeah. A burr? Oh, yeah. Burr, burr, terrible. burr. That sounds terrible. It would have been smarter of them to build the main hall here, don't you think? Maybe you should work on channeling someone someone who makes logical sense, Maya. <laughs> Some letters are engraved into a roughly cut boulder. D-O- or D-U-S-T-Y. Bridge, huh? It says Dusky! Dusky Bridge, okay? I was almost gonna spell it wrong on purpose. <laughs> Come on, Nick, take a look at that bridge and tell me it's not supposed to be dusty. The sign is obviously wrong! I'm going to fix it! Now give me a pencil, Nick! Do I look like a pencil holder to you? I don't know. There's a narrow path going off in a different direction than that of the main hall. The sign here is so old, the text seems to have vanished. The path leads to a wooden staircase that goes down to the bottom of the canyon. Okay, I'll write wooden staircase on it then. Do you really think that is necessary? You'd have to be blind not to see the stairs. Well, it can't hurt. Just pass me a pencil, okay? Graffiti is a crime, Maya. <laughs> Come on, Nick. Why don't we go hop across the bridge? It'll be fun. I'm not so sure. It looks like a bunny hopping across the bridge would destroy it. Yeah. Okay, Nick, then let's try to find a cute little white bunny and test your theory. That right there sums up the fundamental difference between sane and insane. I guess we're moving. Inner we Temple just, Gate. We just walk across the bridge and it falls. February oh, 7th, Inner Temple Gate. Whoa! That bridge was shaking like jello in an earthquake! And at least half of the wood on that rickety bridge is rotting, I bet. Not to mention the last part only had, like, one board left on it! What's wrong with you? Your face is all green. C can you not pick on me for a second? I'm still trying to get over the shock that we made it safely across that death trap. Yeah, I guess I'm a bit surprised, too. Yikes! That temple is in bad shape! It looks like it could collapse any time! I guess people don't use it too often. Is this really where you're going to train tonight? That has to be it. It's kind of creepy around here. Like a ghost might jump out at you or something. A spirit medium afraid of ghosts? Isn't it ironic, don't you think? Yup. <laughs> Ain't it ironic, don't you think? <sighs> Alright, well, <laughs> we got a lot to examine here. I don't care how much you pay me, I don't want to cross that bridge again. Well, I guess we're not going to be warm again. No worries, Nick. No one's going to offer you any money. That's because no reasonable person would call that pile of popsicle sticks a bridge. The latter half of it was nothing more than a few planks of wood and some string. Hey, if we want to get back, we've got no choice but to cross it again, you know. Maybe I'll just stay. I've always dreamed of living in a little shack in the woods. Wow, you really are scared, aren't you? I mean, I don't really blame him. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, look at this neat Bo look at these neat Buddha statues. Maybe I'll take one home with me. Maya! But there's so many, they wouldn't notice if I took just one. Are you kidding? Of course they'll notice! What are you gonna do with one of those anyway? Put it in the office, of course. We can trade that wooden statue in the office reception area for one of these. You know, come to think of it, where did that wooden statue come from anyway? We have one. Apparently. 
It looks like the bridge is suspended by four of these wires. They're really thin. Shouldn't they be just a little thicker? Oh, stop it! You're such a worrywart, Nick. If the bridge were really going to collapse, I'm pretty sure that the boards would break before these wires ever did. What's wrong? You're turning into an overripe avocado again. Okay, I have a theory of what might happen. Go on. Um, sometime when we're going to be investigating, the bridge is going to go out. Someone's going to cut the wires. Oh, interesting. And we're not going to be able to go over to one side or another. Probably, it'll happen when we come out of the inner temple, and then it'll be like, well, we're hopefully stuck here. Pearl's fine. We'll see. Okay, interesting theory. Hey! There's a giant robot buried in the snow. What? Really? Well, there's something buried in the snow, but I think it's an incinerator. Oh. <laughs> but you gotta admit it looks a lot like a robot. Um, sure. Anyway, I don't think it gets used much. It lo it's looking pretty rusty. Hey, Nick, do you think this giant robot, a uh, robo incinerator can walk? I told you it's not a robot. And it's not especially big, either. Blah, you have no imagination. I thought it'd be really neat if you could have it, if you had to beat it to an advance. A fight between a lawyer and an overgrown furnace? Who'd even pay to see that? <laughs> well, I wonder if you could do that in uh, Marvel vs. Capcom. Yeah, maybe. Hey, a half-open gate. That's practically a welcome mat. Yeah, except the sign on here says, no entry. Um, Nick, rules are made to be broken, you know. You expect a lawyer to go along with that? <laughs> oh, come on! You're such an old lady sometimes! Let's just go! Don't blame it on me when Sister Bikini puts a curse on you. Now that you- now you've got me scared. Um, let's just forget about it, okay? The water hasn't frozen, so I guess there's that. Looks like there's something written on it. I can't read it, but if I had to take a good guess, it'd say- uh, I'd say it says Inner Temple. What's the point of a sign if you can't read it? It must be tough for the mailman when he's delivering here. I guess the sign is a good indication of how long this place has been here. Yeah. They even have a coin. I'm pond. really nervous to go inside that temple. You think she's just gonna kill us right away? No! <laughs> We're not, it's not gonna be a mafia jump yet. Not yet. Not yet. So that's the inner temple up ahead, huh? It looks kinda run down. Well, it wouldn't be very temple-like if it was all bright and shiny. So, you're training here tonight, huh? Yep. Then everyone will see my spiritual powers. Sounds like your stomach wants to show off its digestive powers instead. I wonder if that roast is ready yet. Oh man, pot roast is so good. Alright, moment Train of truth. Hall. Um... This is like something out of uh, um, Chobits. Is this a laboratory in here? What is Chobits? It's a weird anime I've seen. B basically, it's like um, computer people make computers that are like human beings and they can walk with you. It's but it, it was made in like two thousand, so hmm. it was kind of the idea of like this. This is what the future will look like. We had iPhones instead. But, um, but kind of that same idea of, like, oh, it's a GPS. Oh, it can send email. Oh, it can do, like, all of these things. And there's this, like, lady who has a totally normal, like, oh, it's a Japanese apartment. And then, like, underneath her closet, there's, like, a giant laboratory that she has. That's so bizarre. It's bizarre. Welcome to anime. All right. February 7th, Inner Temple Training Hall. Man, look at this place. It's just a tiny, freezing cold room. So this is where you'll both be training, huh? Huh? What do you mean, both? I'm the only one. Really? But I thought... Pearlie's just a little kid. She couldn't handle this kind of intense training. Thank you. So says the girl that I can barely hear over her bones chattering. Anyway, the real training room must be behind that door over there. It's a cage. <laughs> yeah, I get the feeling it's back there, definitely. If only because the cavern behind the door is giving off a real supernatural vibe. Or feel. Vibe feel. also works. Um. And oh, then she has the hair. Excuse me, but who are you? Ah. Uh. You're... 
Hi there! We're just looking around since we're going to be staying here tonight. Is something wrong? Uh, uh, no, it's nothing. I wonder why she spaced out like that, don't you, Nick? Uh, did you say something, Maya? Not you too, Nick. I... my name is Iris. I'm one of the nuns here at the temple. I'm Maya Fey. It's a pleasure to meet you. The pleasure is mine. Oh, uh, uh please excuse me. I have some, uh, chores to attend to. <laughs> she slammed the door on the Oh, I thought she tripped. <laughs> I thought she was like, I have some chores to attend to. <laughs> no, she's a slam. I can't believe yeah, he's here. here. What the blame? <laughs> yeah. She sure is beautiful. And a bit spacey, I guess. I guess she's just not used to talking with to the urban sophisticates like us. Nick? That girl. It, it can't be, but... I wonder if she's like... <laughs> like, I'm turning over a new leaf for the second time, but I'm actually trying to be good. And she's like, let me just completely... Or maybe, like, I wonder if they have spiritual powers, like, hypno hypnosis, where it's like, we're gonna make you forget. We're gonna make you forget all your problems, man. And then, like, <laughs> and then the girl, like, did that. <laughs> that sounds like bikini, Iris, all right. And then, uh, and no, hey, man. Hey, man. No, uh, <laughs> I make make a bikini sound like a drag queen. <laughs> that would have been cool. It could have been fine. <laughs> nah, I, I really like the voice you Sure. Did. It's I like, think it's fine. It's like an American Angela Lansbury kind of. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like that. See, I thought that this room looked absolutely terrifying, so... Let's look. The actual training area must be on the other side of this door. I wonder what it's like. <laughs> Phooey, it's locked. Come on, Nick. You know you want to open it for me! I can't. You've been in kind of a bad mood lately, haven't you, Nick? Sorry! I know what it is! I-R-A-S! I can't spell. <laughs> I-R-A-S. I-R-A-S. <laughs> I-R-A-S. <laughs> That's more appropriate, actually. <laughs> I-R-A-S. <laughs> Iris and Nick sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G! Please okay. don't, Maya. <laughs> look at this antique dresser. I wonder if there's anything valuable inside. Let's have a look. Hmm, nothing. Just a bunch of clothes. Hey, Nick. Huh? Oh, sorry. I was just thinking. Oh, about Iris, I bet. Looks like you've been bitten by the love bug, Nick. Please don't. <laughs> Well, she he's not telling her anything. I know. Ah! It was a Haney scroll that looks kind of old. Ah! 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 What is it? Why did you scream like that? There was a lot of delay between her scream and his scream. Yeah. <laughs> the, the scroll. It. It's my mother. What? Oh, it's of a person. I thought it was like kanji. It's Misty Faye, the master of the Korean school of channeling. Uh, Maybe, our... what if Bikini is her mother? And she's like, I changed my name, I'm undergoing And I, and and I lost life. four feet of and, height. And ganked 100 pounds. I mean, the 100 pounds is totally possible. Yeah. You, it's hard to lose a couple of feet of height. Well, but she's not. Bikini Misty is short. Misty Faye doesn't look that much taller, though. And when you, okay, you know how I feel how like when bikini, you... bikini would come up to maybe the top of her, like, her, 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 her waist ribbon. Really? Bikini is short. What is she, like 4'8? Like 4'2. She's very short. Oh. See, maybe, um, you know how when you get old, you get like hunched over and you're like, Because, oh. I mean, okay, look at look at the this magazine. Sure. Iris is so much taller than her. Sure. <laughs> Iris, in quotations. Iris. <laughs> are, are you sure? Yes. That crest at the top of the scroll. That's the special mark of the master of our tradition. So that's what the mark means. What is it? Nothing. It 
It's just that I last saw her over 15 years ago. And she's alive because she tried to channel. If it wasn't for that crest, I wouldn't have even known it was her. My own mother. And I can't even recognize her face. Maya. That must be terrible. Well, but she was what, two? She was like three or four. Three? I think. Yeah, like, yeah. That pa would make sense. Painting scroll added to the court record. Well, I guess there's nothing more to do but jump nope. over the bridge. <laughs> Apparently, yeah, we gotta jump over the bridge. <laughs> Thank you.